What is up, guys? Flooding Mine 14. Uh, sorry about the cutoff in the last episode. Uh, luckily, I noticed. Um, yeah, last time we were taking on uh, Noah here in a shadow game. Uh, this time with him, you know, not using Vocalist Stick, but his own. So the only thing you missed is that, uh, yeah, we attacked directly with Force Raider. Uh, but yeah, in the last turn, he uh, he played Shallow Grave, and he uh, he kind of miscomboed because he played Delinquent Duo, discarding our Genzo, but then he played uh, Shallow Grave, letting us revive it. So with that, we basically won. So go, Legendary Fisherman. Oh, oh, clever. I guess we haven't won yet. Wow. I definitely thought this duel was over. Um, Sinister Serpent, get him. Wow, Book of Moon. Um, by the way, I'm surprised you didn't use that on Genzo, buddy. Okay, well, apparently Noah has uh, a turn or two left in him, so I definitely didn't see that coming. I thought this duel was over for sure, you know, because with Genzo, they can't play traps, but looks like it's over now. You know, he didn't play any other cards, so let's play it again. Go! Legendary Fisherman! <laughs> yeah, and the last episode was awesome because we got three A and B's back to back to uh, close out the, uh, yeah, we got like Horse Raider, Fisherman, and Jinzo all back to back to back, so pretty cool. Legendary Fisherman, get him! <laughs> Alright, and with that, Noah is defeated once and for all. Alright, or is he? Or is he? Let's find out right now. Nice experience though, 134, that's good. All right, and we get 176 Kyber Core points. All right, but th this final like part, as far as with the Noah, it, it's it's all gas, no brakes, man. We had to duel like Lecter, then Mokuba, and then Noah. So let's see what'll happen here. Ah, I never thought I would actually lose. Ah, you can stop now, Noah. You don't need to fight anymore. What do you mean, Mokuba? Yeah, what's up, bro? When he controlled my mind, I was able to look inside to his mind, too. Oh, yeah, that's true, Mokuba. That happened in the uh, anime, too. Okay. Noah, I know everything about you, especially your past and what it has to do with my big brother. What? Don't you know that you don't exist in this world anymore? What do you mean, Mokuba? Gozaburo had high hopes for you as his son. <gasps> dun dun dun! But you were in a terrible accident. Wow, this is intense. He's Gozaburo's son? An accident? <gasps> Gasp! That's not all. So that Noah could live forever, Gozaburo uploaded Noah's mind into the Kaiba Corp mainframe computer. Okay. Yeah, yeah, this is all, you know, kind of in line with the anime. Very sad music here, by the way, though. That's right. The world you're in right now isn't real. What? I created it using virtual reality. You're all half asleep plugged into the virtual reality machines inside the Kaiba Mansion. Oh, I see. Very interesting. Okay. <sighs> Fine. I lost this game. I'll show you the exit out of this world. Okay, cool. Well, with that, guys, we've done it. We've defeated Noah and all of the Big Five, so let's leave. Time to leave the virtual world. Let's go. Let's leave. Noah. He was walking next to us a second ago. Uh, I don't know. What do you mean, Mokuba? Where did he go? What's gonna happen now? You hear something. Uh-oh. This can't be good. Lots of foot. Everyone. As I told you before, I don't exist in the real world. Uh-oh. What's he gonna do? I've been hiding inside a Kaiba Corp underwater military base computer waiting for a chance to get my revenge on that despicable seto. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and this is my character. What did Kaiba ever do to you? Why do you want revenge? Mm, good questions, me. Good questions. Jealousy. Oh. 
My father had high hopes for me, but after the accident, he turned all his attention to Seto because I was a failure. I have every right to be jealous. However, I lost a flood, so I will show myself in front of you again. Okay. What are you talking about, Noah? We're brothers. It, it's too late for me, Mokuba. Warning. I'm guessing this is like some kind of computerized voice, so that's what I'm gonna do for it. Warning. Warning. The base is going to self-destruct in 20 minutes. Warning. Warning. Well then, goodbye. Noah. What? Self-destruct? What's going to happen to you, Noah? Ahaha! <laughs> I won't let any of you leave! Oh, it's Gozabura! Wow! Noah! You are done! I'll handle the rest! Leave this to me! Ah, you're Gozabura! My father! My stepfather! Gozabura! Father! Don't call me father! I don't need a son who's a failure! Man, that's harsh, bro! Don't say that, father. I, I'll defeat him here and now. Do it, Kaiba. I believe in you. Eh. Ah, no. Exodia, it's not possible. Big brother, you can't. You're still hurt from your duel with Noah. Oh, okay, okay. So they didn't actually, they didn't actually duel. Ha 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 ha. Seto, even if you want a duel, you're a mess. You're no match for me. I'll first beat the duelist who defeated Noah. There's only 20 turns left before this base explodes. And yeah, yeah, yeah. So what what this means is uh, like, you notice how there was kind of like a 20 minute, you know, warning, warning. Uh, well, what this actually means is, yeah, like Gozuburo explains here, uh, basically you have 20 turns to win. And if you don't win, you'll automatically get a game over. So... <laughs> what a lame duel! You're calling me lame, bro. Ah, Forbidden Peck. Ah, so does he have Exodia Necros? Like he does in the anime? We shall see. Anyway, we'll go first. And, uh, yeah, this duel, honestly, might take us a couple tries, because 20, 20 turns, that is a tight... Yeah, 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 and you see kind of the, uh, final countdown. Yeah, don't mind that too much. Uh, long story short, try to win in 20 turns. Here we go. We got some good cards, though. The Revival of Slime, Kogik Shoji. All right, and I'll set two cards. I don't know if he's running a field card or not, but uh, yeah, we'll go with these cards face down, and I'll end my turn. Wish me luck, guys. Wish me luck. All right. And this is probably the hardest out of all the games, just because you can get a bad starting hand, and, uh, or he, if he has, like, Swords of Revealing Light or something, yeah, it can make this duel really tough, so. But anyway, just try to play your best cards, and, uh, hope you draw a lot of monsters, unlike I'm doing right now. And, uh, yeah, that's all I can say. Um, I guess I'll play a Legendary Ocean here to boost a Revival Jam. But, uh, yeah. Definitely, you know, just be be really aggressive in this duel because you you know you can't really afford to waste any turns. So, all right, rival jam, destroy his monster. Uh oh, that's not good because uh, revival jams are only monsters. So now it's gonna get banished. DD Warrior Lady, not a bad card, goes a bro. All right, all right, all right. Good stuff, good stuff. I end my turn. Not much I could have done about that, but uh, yeah. Uh, but yeah, uh, so this is a pretty hard gauntlet all around. Go, Slate Warrior in attack mode. Yeah, this is pretty hard, uh, you know, overall, because uh, yeah, well, like, I mean, the duel against Mokuba, not really, but the duel against Lecter is pretty tough. And, you know, you can't change your deck for, uh, you know, Noah or uh, Gozaburo. So, yeah, this final uh, few people can be tough. Luckily, we drew giant red sea snakes, so let me let me go max V here. What do I have face down? I guess I could have played this a while ago, but, yeah. Like, generally, you know, I don't find... Uh, you know, running out of life points to be too big a deal with this shadow game. No, the, the biggest hindrance is, of course, the 20 turns thing. That's, uh, yeah, that's definitely more, you know, troublesome, I would say. So, 
Yeah. I mean, I mean, I guess you can lose by life point damage too, but in general, this guy's not too tough, you know. It's more of the 20 turn thing, so. Yeah, we may have to try this fool quite a few times. Yeah, see, that's what I was talking about. That's what I was talking about. If he gets swords out, like, I don't know. I don't know. It just, you know, hope you get lucky, you know, like I did. And that you get uh, Dust Tornado pretty early, so. All right, let's do it. Dust Tornado, baby. Thank you. Heart of the cards. Yeah, because it seems like he gets swords pretty often as well. But uh, anyway, let's go. Revival Jam. Attack mode. All right. And you know what? Because we are under the limit, you know, the 20 turn limit, I'm going to go all in here with United We Stand. So I don't know if this is the right move or not, but uh, I'm going to try for it, guys. Go. Revival Jam. Ah, Sinister Serpent. Good, good, good. Okay. So we're going to get some massive damage here unless this guy is running Karibo. Shut up. All right, let's go Giant Red Sea Snake with the power of United We Stand. Yeah, that's a good chunk of damage for you, Gozaburo. All right. Now he's down to 4,800. Yeah, that's a good card we drew there, United We Stand. Okay, and we still got Mirror Force in the back pocket, so. Yep, he'll get back Center for Serpent. Okay. And that's it, that's it. Now, I'm, I'm just going to assume he's that Sinister Serpent, so if we get a monster, we win. Ooh, Granadora, good monster. Okay, guys, so with that, I think this is it. Go, Swallowtailed Spike Lizard. And if we did this all with the Flood deck, I'm going to be, because this is definitely not my best deck, I'm going to be very glad, actually, as a uh, water pro duelist, you know. Go, Swallowtail Spike Lizard. Oh, he set a piece of Exodia. Ah, well, I guess watch out for that, too. I don't know if he has, like, Sand Yan and stuff to uh, get Exodia in his hand. But, yeah, be careful, I guess, for that as well, you know. Maybe run a Robin Goblin or Delinquent Duo. I don't know. But anyway, I think this is it, guys. We got really lucky that we got Dust Tornado, Heart of the Cards. Go, surfatize me, Captain. Finish him off, Giant Red Sea Snake. And with that, guys, we've done it. We've beaten. You know, one of the harder, harder gauntlets uh, as far as Yu-Gi-Oh! games that I've played. But uh, and I'm glad we did it all with the Flood deck. Heck yeah. Man, 150 for the duelist bonus. Holy crap. It's a lot of DP. Okay, so what will happen here? Let's find out. What? You beat me. Yeah, I did, Gozaburo. Now what? Ah! Ah! Twinkle. Ah, I didn't know Gozaburo also survived, living in a world of virtual reality. Ah, father is weakened from the duel, so I can stall him. Please, hurry. Hurry and escape from here. Noah. Ah, Noah, get out of my way. Father, we'll stay in this virtual world together forever. No! Twinkle. Lokuba. Flood. Seto. I'm sorry, and thank you. Alright, guys, and with that... You hear the sound of a sinking building far away. Oh, man, that's ominous. That That is pretty ominous right there. Okay. Alright, guys, and with that... Dot, 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 dot. Pokemon Trainer Red. Dream? Question mark? No, it wasn't a dream. That all really happened in the virtual world. So, was it all a dream? Was it all a dream? Or, you notice a card in your hand. Oh, Shinato, king of a higher plane. Shinato's Ark. Oh, I guess it wasn't a dream after all. Noah. Oh, man. Man, that, it, this is intense, man. Brother, Docs, what are you doing here? What is it, my brother? Huh, 
This is unlike anything I have ever seen. You are correct. Why is your shirt green? What can this mean? The last I remember, we were training in China. Where are we? What? What's going on here? So it looks like the Paradox Brothers um, don't know what's going on. What should we do? Nothing to worry about. We can train anywhere we want to. You're right, my brother. Let's train. Till night, my brother. Ha 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 ha. Interesting. Ha 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 ha. What's going on with that? Mm, oh, Fleming boy. Ah. Where am I? So Pegasus doesn't know what's going on either? Ah, strange. I think I'm in Alcatraz. Hmm. But how did I get here? I don't remember anything. Pegasus, was I hypnotized? Oh, okay, so this brings up an interesting point. You remember how earlier in the LP I was just like, you know, how are Para and Dox and Pegasus doing like, doing shadow games and stuff, like even though, I never thought someone could brainwash me. Yeah, even though like they don't have Millennium items and Pegasus doesn't have his Millennium Eye. Remember guys? Yeah, so it's heavily implied that, uh, yeah, uh, Docs and Para and Pegasus were somehow being brainwashed here, so, uh, yeah, remember, remember earlier in the ELP? In fact, I can remind you guys. Here we go. There's a question. There's a question for you guys. What were the Paradox brothers trying to do? Why did they kidnap Serenity? Is Maximilian Pegasus involved in the return of the Shadow Games? That's our answer is like somehow, you know, Noah was controlling them or they were being brainwashed somehow. That's that's how they were able to do shadow games and stuff. Eh, hey, Flood. What's up, Joey? Hi, Flood. Yugi. Pegasus and his minions from Duelist Kingdom. They were all controlled by Noah. So there you go, guys. That's your answer. That's how they were able to initiate shadow games and stuff. Kind of strange though it doesn't i mean for pegasus okay I, I mean i can buy docs and para and you know banded keith to an extent being controlled because you know banded keith was controlled by merrick for a while but to control pegasus that's eh, you know what i mean that's where this game loses me a little bit i think pegasus is a little too strong to be controlled even without his millennium eye but uh yeah yeah so that's what it was. I knew something fishy was going on. I guess it wasn't their fault then. And the military install. Oh, that's yummy. The military installations are gone, Flood. Yeah, I feel bad for Noah. We should do it for that kid too. Yeah, Joey. Yeah. Ah, you're right, Joey. The Expert Cup Final Tournament will begin shortly. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm guessing this is Roland saying this? Yeah. Oh, uh, finalists, please come to the arena as soon as you are ready. Today's the tournament finals. Yeah. Okay. So, pretty crazy. Yeah, pretty crazy everything that just happened. But, uh, Expert Cup Tournament Finals. Here we go, guys. Here we go. We are here at the Kaiba Dome. All right. Yeah, yeah, we're here, guys. This, this is the location of the finals? Awesome! All right, here we go. Finalist, we've been waiting for you. I'll take you to the locker room. All right, let's do it, Roland. Prepare for your duel in this locker room. When you're ready to duel, call me. All right. 
And so with that, guys, we've entered the Expert Cup stage. Yeah, so a lot of major stuff story, you know, just kind of went down there. But uh, the major thing I want to do at this point is uh, make a hard save. So, and then we'll take a look around here for the Expert Cup. So let's see. Looks like someone's in here. Uh, can we save? A score you can save here yeah so definitely come here first after all those duels definitely so there we go all right okay and with that we've saved so I tell you what guys let's uh, let's go back here and uh, let's see so it looks like there's a few people we can talk to here and there's Roland, and there's also a shop. Let's stop by the shop first here, because I'm pretty curious uh, to see if there's any new packs or anything available. Let's see. I like this music, though, for the Expert Cup. Uh, it doesn't look like there's any new packs. So, honestly, I'm going to save my DP at this point. Okay, well, let's just, uh, yeah. While we're here in the Expert Cup, let's just, uh, before we talk to Roland, let's just talk to a few of the people that are around here, shall we? Seems to be someone inside. Okay. Oh, it's mine! Ah, so you've made the finals! I knew there was something special about you. Ah, how about we duel? I want to see how I do against tough competition. Okay, mine. Let's do it. Alright. Yeah, I don't have too much else planned for this episode. Uh, the main thing is, I, I honestly thought that Duel versus Gozaburo might take us like three or four tries, and honestly, honestly it might. The 20 turn thing is pretty, pretty brutal, and you saw there, like, if I didn't have anything against swords, like, that wastes, you know, six total turns. So, like, honestly, I might have been screwed in that duel without this tornado, so... But, you know, luckily, heart of the cards, heart of the cards, baby. Okay, let's set this... And I will activate different dimension capsule. But yeah, for the rest of this episode, we're just gonna do, you know, kind of a normal duel against my here. And I think that'll be it for this uh, recording session. Let's take Pot of Greed out of the deck. Oh man, it was buried deep in here. Okay. There we go. And let's see. I got Last Wheel, huh? Yeah, let's play Last Wheel. I plan to crash here, actually, with the. Uh, Horse Raider, so there we go. The Horse Raider. Okay. All right, let's see if we can crash here. My go, Horse Raider, attack her monster. All right. Now, what should I take with Horse Raider? Good question. Well, I have a couple of spells and traps in my hand, so I'm thinking we grab Sand Gan and then later Morphing Jar. First, let me make sure Morphing Jar's in this deck. I hope it is. There's Cyber Jar. Um, yeah, there's Morphing Jar. Okay. Uh, Sand Gan. There we go. Sounds good. Okay. So, we'll Morphing Jar next turn. Sounds like a plan. Go, Sand Gan. Direct attack. And I guess she doesn't have anything like Mirror Wall down. Ooh. You know what? I just thought, though. She might have Shadow of Eyes. So, hmm. We may have to bait that out somehow, so. All right. Yeah, because she does like playing that quite a lot. Another Gemini out. Okay. Well, let's play Solemn Wishes here. And I'll probably revive War Raider in this turn, so. All right, all right. I will still take Morphin Jar, though, because I've only got one card in hand. Yeah, pretty cool storyline overall, right? As far as Noah goes, and uh, yeah, the fact that Paradox and Pegasus were all being controlled, pretty interesting, you know, little twist on this game, I'd say. So, yeah, pretty interesting, pretty interesting. All right, I draw. Hmm, interesting card. All right, my. I think I'll play called the Haunted here. Let's revive good old Horse Raider. Uh-huh. Hmm. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure she has Shadow of Eyes. Tell you what, let's just crash. 
The thing about Shadow of Eyes, though, is I'm pretty sure it negates uh, flip effects, too, though, so... Hmm... I don't know what I'm gonna exactly do about that. Although, I guess, uh, I do have Heavy Storm. Let's wait till I draw a Pot of Greed off of, uh, Dimension Capsule, and then I'll Heavy Storm before I set Morphing Jar. That sounds good. Yeah, that sounds like a plan. That sounds like a plan. Okay. Alright. Yeah. Use your Amazon Archer. That's fine. Different dimension capsule shatter. Very good. Well, actually, we got Spirit Reaper, so I could just test it now. Hmm. Yeah, let's play Pot of Greed to gain another 500. Very good. Let's see what we drew here. Ah, Giant Red Sea Snake. Good, good. Um, let's go with this. Okay, and we can take out her Amazon Archer first. But yeah, whenever I want to go for Morphing Jar, we got Heavy Storm, so... That sounds good, that sounds good. Okay. Alright, and I'm not gonna play uh, our field card, because I, I know she uh, she runs Harpy's Hunting Ground in her deck, so I'm gonna wait for her to play hers. Uh, she got, but it's only fair. I search for Pot of Greed. You know, you top deck Pot of Greed. It's fair. It's only fair. All right. Ooh, and we got Magician of Faith, too. Okay. Well, you know, three back rows a little too enticing for me. So let's play Heavy Storm. Let's see what all we destroy here. Call of the Haunted? Good. Uh, she did have Shadow of Ice. I knew she did. I, I just felt it. Um, okay. Sea Snake Attack? I think I'll set... Uh, oh, she got her Magician of Faith. Wow. Yeah, I think I'll set our Magician of Faith first. And then I'll go for Morphing Jar. I may take a Heavy Storm again here. I don't know. But, uh, yeah. Main Phase 2. I'll set my Magician of Faith. And we'll end the turn. Go ahead, bye. Alright. What you got? Harpy Lady 3. Elegant. Uh oh, here comes Harpy Lady Sisters. Not too bad, mine. Not too bad. Another elegant egotist. Yeah, so. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Oh my god! Whew! She just went ham right there. Jeez. Okay. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, she, she went full ham Taro on that. Um, okay, well, we do have Spirit Reaper. That's good. Um, I guess I'll take... Hmm, I'll take Heavy Storm. I'll take Heavy Storm. Tough decision there. But uh, I don't know what the last card in her hand is, though. So, yeah, that's got 2,700 thanks to Triangle Ecstasy Spark. That's pretty powerful. Does the other one get boosted, too? I guess we'll find out. It does. Wow. <laughs> she, she drew, like, the god combo for her deck. That, that was pretty impressive, mine. Not gonna lie. Face down? No, okay. All right, luckily we do have Spirit Reaper and Penguin Soldier. Okay, so we can bounce these girls back. These uh, sisters. So let's do that. Penguin Soldier. Good, good. Yeah, I do run quite a few flip monsters in here, so I'm kind of glad I take, took back Heavy Storm. Flying Kamakuri. Okay. I'll keep it on big screen here, make sure I pick the right targets. Go, Penguin Soldier! <laughs> Looks like I'll be bouncing some monsters back to your hand, my. Alright. Return a monster. You. Return another monster. You. Thanks, Penguin Soldier. Appreciate it. Alright. Good, good. That was a good draw. That was definitely a good draw. Alright. And with that, we clear her uh, sisters off the board. Let's see. Granadora. Pretty good. Pretty good. Okay. I'll summon Granadora. Alright. And if we attack her Harpy Lady, 
we can't attack for two turns, but honestly, that's fine. I'd rather go ahead and take it out and know that she can't play uh, any more, you know, elegant egotist or anything, or like cyber shield, you know, that kind of stuff. So, yeah. And man, this music is so upbeat and chill compared to the last <laughs> few episodes where it's been nothing but shadow games. That's crazy, you know. I'd agree. Yeah, I was wondering what you were waiting on for that, but uh, three face downs once again. Okay, time for heavy storm again, guys. Let's do it. Ring of destruction, pretty good. Okay, heavy storm. Ooh, MST, Solomon's Law Book, and Shadow of Eyes once again. Good, good. All right, with that, I think I'll set Morphing Jar, and I'll set three cards here, my. Okay, I am my turn. Let's see what you get, my. Malevolent Nuzzler, that's not a bad card, honestly. Uh, I might Ring of Destruction right now. Huh. Let's do it. Go! Ring of Destruction! <laughs> okay, yeah, because we know the last two cards in her hand are Harpy Lady Sisters, which, you know, she can't use. So, perfect time to use that. And now your malevolent nuzzler fizzles. Uh huh. Very good. Ooh, amphibian beast. Wow. Um. Well, I think we just won. So I'll tribute uh, Granadora to summon amphibian beast. Okay. Then I'll activate legendary ocean mine. Pretty sure with, with with United we stand we win here. So now go morphing jar. This will discard all the cards in our hands and let us draw five new ones. Very good. And now United we stand, baby. So I'll put this on Amphibian Beast, and that'll bring it up all the way to 4200. Nice, nice. All right, that's the duel. Go morphing jar. Jar Smash Attack. Alrighty, guys. Well, looks like that'll be it for this little recording session. This was this was definitely fun. Like you know, doing some of the episodes on the plot though for the uh, for Noah. Uh, very interesting, and 